we have definitely all seen this female. And I'm talking about Miss Carrie June. She is on TikTok and Instagram plaguing the algorithm with her gluteus maximus. I think she's actually probably one of the first influencers to pave the path in showing my ass for clicks and likes on the internet. Wide stand squats, target glutes. Starting way back more than eight years ago, publishing content about her workouts, her body, and specifically those awkward looking glutes. But Miss Carrie June has recently shifted her content, talking about creatine as if it's not good for you, which is perplexing, to showing off her array of expensive cars that you or I would never be able to afford, or anyone who lives on planet Earth, uh, who doesn't sell their ass cheeks for a copious amount of money. And to be fair, Miss Carrie June markets towards females and not many males with her supplement line and clothing. However, if you look at the analytics of her accounts, it's pretty much a majoritively male following. So I don't really think that the followers equate to her business model being successful. I think her business model is dependent completely on her uh, ass cheeks, to be fair. But as I was going through her new content, I've been noticing this new trend that she has picked up. And I think I'm I'm going to just show you a video and see if you pick up on it right away. Fuck. To finish that thought, it doesn't flow off the tongue. I can't do 10 minutes of this. I'll die. What do you mean 10? Yeah, I drink more water. I know that we got this. And I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> what else would we twist it with? A salad twister. Turn it off. I feel like I've been through war. No. I fucked up the whole thing, so that was all bad. The worst thing. Do you want salt? I don't give a fuck. To finish that thought, it doesn't flow off the tongue. I can't do 10 I can't even, I, I, listen, you can tell by the comments in this fucking post, people really don't believe that this is her actual accent, and yet she has been posting this for weeks now as if this is her real New Jersey accent, and New Jersey and people in the comments are commenting, what are you doing? This is embarrassing. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? This is how I'd set up a basic workout for building your quads. Number one, barbell squats. Heels. <laughs> Squats, squats, what is this? Squats, 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 squats. What? This isn't even real. This is a made up accent and it's a grift. It's just grifting the people to interact and comment and consume her content. So it pushes itself into the algorithm. Please stop doing goblet squats like this. All right, we're gonna start off by grabbing a plate, oh 25 or 45 pound, doesn't matter. Oh my God. Put your heels up on there first. Don't arch, keep a neutral spine. Don't look up, tuck your chin. Now squat down and grab your dumbbell. <laughs> This person is such a simp. I love your accent. I'm from California, so I rarely hear accents like that. It's so cute. Bombastic side eye. My brother in Christ. <laughs> my brother in Christ. So, if you don't believe me and you think that this is Miss Carrie June's actual accent, let's go back to when she first started posting actual videos about herself and actually talking in those videos. Because, to be honest, for several years, all she did was post pictures of her ass and modeling, and that was what got her the most of her followers. After that, then she started to slowly, slowly develop actual videos, and those videos had talking in them. One of those videos, we hear her say glutes and squats, like she just did, but you can tell the accent is completely different. Let's check this out. To your glute days, if you want massive growth, the Smith machine. Look, I know it has a bad rep, but I don't care. It's great for beginners, great for any stage of your fitness journey. It helps you maintain proper form, double donkey kickbacks. This changes the game. The setup is a little bit confusing at first. A shoulder width stance or a little bit wider to hit the meatier part of the glute. We want that full range of motion. That way your hips do more bending than your knees and your glutes get more of a stretch and more activation, more booty gains. Before you go out there lifting heavy, please do a dry run, no weight at all. Don't be afraid to lift heavy once you get your form down. Everyone loves a Smith machine, they're just too afraid to say it because of the backlash. These are my rules, so you make your own. Mwah. No accent. Interesting. Oh, you want to hear her say basics. quads? Any type of squat on quad day, elevate your heels. Take oh, that's interesting. No accent. The size of your plate. It's the heart that counts. 
This helps with ankle mobility and allows you to squat deeper. Don't be afraid to lift heavy once you get your form down. Just heavier you go, squat. Your ability you heard her say squat, right? Drill. Completely Changes normal. Your... She's claiming that this is now her her new accent. Workout for building your quads. Number one, barbell <laughs> squats. Heels elevated on five pound oh. plates. Number two, leg press. Feet narrow stance. I truly will never understand the grift. Why so many influencers just need to grift their audience to get any kind of attention. It's insane. Can, can you not just pick up something that is normal, be a normal human being, embrace normal behaviors to get an audience? Or do you have to do the most obscene things that are odd, seriously borderline personality disorder like things to gain and garner attention? She went from posting her ass all the way eight years ago to doing that for, you know, half a decade to then posting videos about cooking to then actually talking to then starting a company that is completely bullshit it just is a misinformed mess trying to market towards women by saying they have women creatine that's completely formulated differently which it's objectively just fucking creatine that is a proprietary blend as opposed to just normal creatine monohydrate so you're paying more for a shittier product please stop taking creatine if your goal is to build muscle you're not doing it right we all know creatine is the best for building muscle the the problem is it has really nasty side effects like bloating, cramping, nausea, feeling puffy like a blowfish. A lot of people put up with these side effects for the results. I made that mistake too, but I knew we could do better. Together with my formulation team at Mini Beast, we created MB Creatine Plus and changed the game. We basically took creatine, buffered it to pH 12, created a stable creatine monohydrate molecule, and patented it. So what does this mean? Unlike normal creatine, ours is stable throughout the GI tract, allowing the entire dose to enter into your muscles fully potent, giving you the best possible results without any of the nasty side effects. MB Creatine Plus corrects all of these flaws and is the best on the market. Don't believe it? Try it for yourself. And now she is converting her accent into something that has like no place in this industry. You're literally an actor. And not even that, she's gone from doing this to now pulling an Andrew Tate as well. My business has a lot of box trucks, pickup trucks, vans, cars. Let's just take a look at some of my personal cars. This is my Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. This is my baby Benz C-Class. This is my Lamborghini Urus Performante. Check out the custom Mini Beast brakes. This is my fully custom van. It's a Chrysler Pacifica. Check out the wheels. This is my Cadillac Escalade V with custom 4G autos. This is my custom Bronco Raptor 6x6, the only one in the world. Lastly, my F450, fully custom, lifted on 40s. So there you go. That's some of my cars. Hmm. I'll just say it. I'll just say it because you know what? Why not? I have a hard time believing that her supplement business or clothing business is just as successful enough to get all of these nice things. And I would imagine that it's both a combined effort from her and her husband, which she notably tells everyone that is not the case. And I would argue that he probably has a little bit more business ventures than she does. And it is almost damn near infuriating that this is all it takes to be successful in 2024. It, it is. It, it truly is all that it takes. You sell your body online for clicks, likes, and then you integrate some sort of business model, a supplement company, a clothing brand, something easy to get into with a low overhead cost and a very low buying price so customers can easily buy into it at a lower budget. And then just continue to grift on social media to gain attention and clicks with intermittent, really genuinely relatable content to make people feel like you're a real human being and slightly attached to you. And then to obviously collect the one or two oddballs it's like, wow, she really is a great person. I'm going to buy her products. And then just grifting further into the marketing scheme of saying things, again, like creatine isn't for women and that she has the only creatine for women, the only women designed creatine. I mean, it's truly baffling. People like this exist and continue to perpetuate the idea that they're somehow better because of their hard work and their ethics and morality and all of these things. Meanwhile, the way they got to that end point was through lies, was through manipulation. 
salvation was through selling their body some major haram and then they preach about it like they're the builders of their own architects they're the the crafters of their ship they're the the masters of the economy and they beat the matrix and i'm all about hard work guys trust me i like business is my thing i love real estate i love spending money wisely and trying to do it except this fucking phone the iphone 16 i just have to say this don't buy this piece of shit it's complete waste of money complete waste of money going back to retarded today iphone 16 now has the customizable action button we took away buttons now we brought it back so that it will feel new because we have nothing new anyways most of the time i'm pretty wise with my money but i think preaching that you are just simply better than everyone else because you are better than everybody else is a needless way of going about things and altogether just selling your ass online for engagement never does anyone any good truly but let me know what you think in the comments down below like subscribe if you could it does really help this channel and it improves the chances of me getting into your algorithm as well as many other people's algorithm and if you could do me a secondary favor if you are interested in fitness bodybuilding any kind of thing related to getting healthier and building a sick physique we do have a discord group down below it is private for our members of this youtube channel and it would be an awesome way to support me so we could keep public content every single day i will catch you in the next video squats 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 squats, squats.